Hi everybody and welcome back to another video. So in my last one I said I wanted to do a setup of my Excel and that's what I'm here to do today. I also have my personal wide Julio and my medium Campania in the Flamingo suede just so that I can show you the sizes a little bit. So let's do that first. So you will have to, you have to excuse the glare on this acetate here, but this is kind of the best way that I could show you. So we have personal wide XL and then we have the medium down here. So you can see that there is quite a big difference between each one really when you have them all open. So this one is for personal wide inserts. This one, it was designed to be used with personal inserts but I'm using the Franklin Kobe compact inserts and then in here you have the personal inserts. So I just wanted to do a little quick show of those different sizes just so that you could see. They From the top, these two have 30 millimeter and this currently has 25, but you can have 30 millimeter in that as well. So that's kind of a top view. If you want a more in-depth detail video of kind of the different sizes and the inserts and things and comparing them, then just let me know and I will do that for you. So this is my medium XL Campania from Giglio and this is in the gold. I just have an ollie clip on the front here. Inside it has the same pocket configuration as the personal, the medium. And I have set it up quite similarly to that. So I don't have anything in the pocket. Here I just have my usual sticky notes and then I have a little card. I've got a bank card here and then just some cuteness. So another little ollie clip, some of these little flowers, a bookmark. In here I just have some contacts, some stickers and some little dot stickers that I use on my monthly as well. This is acetate here from my shop, the Crescent Planner. And then I have the fly leaf. So you can see it was made for personal inserts and that's the size of the fly leaf what you get. And mine are just a little bit bigger than personal. So first up I have a personal size dashboard from Foxy Fix and this just has a few little die cuts in, a little card, some pictures, a little sticker. Then I have vellum with another picture and the Franklin Cubby inserts actually have rounded edges on this side and then they're squared off at this side so I did do all my pages to match that and I do really like how it looks. I think it looks really nice. I don't have dividers as such, I just have my tabs like normal. So first up I have this overview from Paper Test Designs. Then I have some school information and then this little card from Hey Planner Girl. I then have the inbox and some list sheets from Paper Test Designs. And this is just a to buy list along with my inbox. I then have books to read some spare ones, a TV one, a someday maybe list, and then another little list insert there. Next up I have online orders, and then a little add to planner list. I'm starting to think about my eldest girl and boy's birthday. These are just some websites that I want to check out, so I just scribbled them down. And then I have a bunch of Stalogy paper in the back. And my youngest daughter did me a little picture. So this is kind of random lists, notes and my inbox section. 
then at the back of that section I have projects so next up I have the yearly plans insert from paper test designs that just looks like this with some notes pages at the back and then you come to my monthly section so these are inserts from Franklin Kobe and they are the monthly and then a day on two pages so you get this overview here and then behind that I just have my kids school schedule and the schedule for the bins and recycling and then each page cover has a little picture on so you get the previous month the current month and then the next month on the front and they all have different pictures so different black and white images and I got this set because I really liked the colour of the tabs and the fact that it is a Monday star as well. So this is January, so you've got January to Thursday, Friday to Sunday and then a little section for notes. And then on the back you have a little index and then monthly tasks and goals here. So I did pre um, back plan those two months. And this is the current month that we are in. And then we have all the rest of the months there. Next up, I have some acetate and a little card from Planet Tales. And then this is my weekly. So I'm using Paper Test Designs. And I have gone with this weekly. I can't remember the name of this one, but I will leave it linked down below. So you can use it as kind of two pages of a week or just one page for a week. So I'm just using one page for a week. I didn't know if I wanted a weekly in here, but I'm just going to try it for now and see if I actually use it and reference it. We shall see. So I do have quite a few of those in here. And then I just have some of these daily routines. Not everything's filled out yet. I only moved in yesterday, so it's still a work in progress. I have some more acetate. This is a freebie from Planner Test, just on some vellum. And then I have the last few days of March in here, and then the April inserts. So this is the page that we are on now. So it's very similar to how I was using the Marcia Bramucci inserts. It has a task list, a schedule section, and then a notes section here. I did also get this Franklin Covey page marker, which I really like. And these inserts inside are from Annie Plans. And I just cut them to fit. So I have a to-do on that side and then grid and a little picture on that side. And like I said, I have next month as well. So on the back of the dailies, you get a business expense. Then I have some vellum from Paper Test and these are what they look like. So each different month has a different color at the top. And I have been watching videos on the Franklin Planner system. So I am going to utilize um, prioritizing the tasks, which you can see I have done down here. I'm still kind of getting to grips with that, but I'm hoping it will really help productivity wise. So we shall see. I just have some sticky notes here from Create With Pen. And then I have another little foxy dashboard just with some extra little pages for my page marker. Then I have my shop section. So I just have some notes here. I have a list for YouTube and then it goes into my finance overview. So you can see these pages look a little bit odd. These are personal wide inserts that I've sized down a little bit, but you can see they are a little bit too short, but I wanted to try them out first before I bought them um, in the A5 so that I can scale them down properly. So I have just got those. There. Then I have my goals section. So this is from Paper Test Designs as well. And it's just exactly the same as it was in my personal wide but I have had to size down this insert as well then I have this little positive thinking sheet and I will leave the shop below as I can't remember those 
and then I have my health logs here. So I've got April's ready to go. And then I have body measurements and doctor's visits just here. And again, I've just resized those as well. Then I have these from, is it Planner B? Plan with B. Um, and I thought those would be nice for some journaling. So I've got a few of those in there. I have my daily trackers for gluten and workouts and an extra one. I've got a monthly habits tracker. And then I have this tracker from Hey Planner Girl. Then I have my passwords on here. Some more acetate and vellum and a little card. I have a savings tracker from Paper Test and the expenses sheet. Then I have the Hey Planner Girl Low Spend Tracker. This is from Mindy Plans. This I will link below. I can't remember where's that from. And this is just a little section for my husband there. And then it moves into my children. So I'm going to put their school schedule on here. Then I have their little chore chart and then each of their health logs. And again, I've got one set up for April for the littlest. Just some more of those list inserts. And again, I scale these down so they're not perfect. As you can see here, the monthly task is missing on this one. Um, but these are the cleaning schedule from Simple and Trendy Co. And oh, where's the needles one? Oh. <laughs> and this monthly plan I'm going to use for meals. So the idea was I can meal plan for the week and then just do a shopping list. But because it's a month on one page, it doesn't take as much space up. So that's what these are for as well. And then... I have my the guinea pigs stuff, so I still have the little picture and their information which I just chopped the edge off and their grooming log and then I have a little to buy list at the back and a page lifter. In the back here I just have a few little pictures and my routine cards. Here is just some create with pen stickers. I'm still using this pink Giglio pen and then in the back I just have some receipts and some important letters. So that is it. If you have any questions let me know and I will do my best to get back to you and if you want more pictures and things then check out my Instagram as I do post over there quite regularly. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.